everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be building the U.S. Capitol building from Metal Earth. Groovers, let's get down to the workbench and take a look at the package. Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Metal Earth United States Capitol building in some classic Metal Earth packaging. And if you're building along with me at home, you might have a little bit of a different package. Don't worry though, the metal and the instructions are exactly the same inside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we have a nice drawing of the Capitol building. And on the right hand side, we have a QR code, which we can scan to get a 360 view of our model if we need it while we're building. Just below that, we get a picture of the Capitol building. And on the right hand side here, we have the history as well. But we'll go into more detail about that during the build. At the very bottom, we get a look at some other models that Fascinations offers. And there's definitely a lot more than this. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. And we have our metal. And it looks like two very nicely detailed sheets. All right, Groovers, let's get building. We begin by grabbing our metal and our wire cutters and cutting out our first couple of pieces to build the US Capitol building. Now, as to my understanding, there might be some new Groove Builders out there that have never built the Metal Earth kits before. There is a lot to know and there's quite a bit of parts here, but don't worry, we're gonna build this together. R2, can you help us with the instructions? Ma, great, thanks buddy. And these are the newest instructions as of this recording. Let's take a look at them together. Starting at the top, we have the Metal Earth logo, followed by a nice depiction of the US Capitol building. Just below that, we have the QR code, which we can scan to get a 360 view of the US Capitol building if we need it while we're building. This can be useful for putting different parts of detail onto the US Capitol and also making sure that the detail that we're placing onto the US Capitol is correctly orientated. Now just below that, we have a picture of one of our parts. On this part, you'll see three labels. One saying insertion tabs, followed by insertion holes, and finally fold lines. You'll need to understand how each one of these works in order to be able to build this model. A quick little rundown on this picture, the insertion tabs are normally slightly bent to be able to fit inside of the insertion holes. And when we're forming our different parts, you normally want to fold them along the fold lines that you'll see on the different pieces. Sometimes these fold lines might not be exactly obvious and you may need to use different things around your home to be able to achieve the proper shape. But more on that a little bit later. Up next, we have the almighty legend. And the first myths that we encounter is the engraved symbol and non-engraved symbol. And the reason why I say this is because you'll never encounter them while reading the instructions. Most likely because it's insinuated. <clears throat> but in all reality, Groove Builders, if you do find these two symbols in any of the metal models that you're building, it just means you need to pay a little bit more closer attention to make sure that you're putting the proper detail on the right side. Up next, we have the attention point, which similar to the engraved symbol and non-engraved symbol, you're really not going to encounter this too often, and in particular, not in this model. If you do encounter this symbol in maybe another kit, all this means is you simply want to pay a little bit more attention to that area. It might be because that area might be a little difficult to put together, or the part might break really easily. Just below our attention point, we have two symbols, a circle and a triangle. These two symbols are littered throughout all of our instructions, and that's with good reason. These symbols tell us what to do with our tabs, and what you want to do when you see a circle, take as much of the tab in your tweezer as possible and then bend it over 90 degrees. When we see a triangle, you want to take as much of the tab in your tweezers again and you want to twist it 90 degrees. I always recommend following the instructions first, and then at the very end, go over your model to see if there's any tabs that maybe you can change to make your model look a little bit better. Moving right along, we have our recommended tool section, and the first tool we have recommended to us is the wire cutters, which I definitely recommend having on you. This way you can cut out all of your pieces needed to build the US Capitol from the metal sheets. I know it might be tempting to attempt to try and bend them out, 
don't do that. You will actually bend your pieces or possibly warp them and it will be almost impossible to put your model together. So make sure you have a good set of wire cutters on hand before you start building any of these metal models. Up next we have tweezers, which are very useful for bending all of our pieces into their proper shape. Now you'll notice in my videos I'm using a pair of detailed tweezers, but any pair of tweezers will do around your home. If you can, I definitely recommend looking around your house to see if you have a variety of different tweezers to try out. Some tweezers are better than others to use for these models, and you might find yourself being a little bit frustrated with how flimsy some of these tweezers can be. And the last tool in the recommended tool section is the needle nose pliers, which are useful for getting hard to reach tabs that you couldn't normally get with your tweezers. They can also be useful for bending long pieces of metal straight, like our base if you will. One other tool I recommend which isn't listed here is either a marble or something cylindrical to help you form that dome at the top of the US Capitol building. If you can't find something around your home to help you build this dome, don't worry. All you need to do is slowly bend the pedals matching the seams as you go. If you do this all the way around, your dome should turn out pretty good. And finally, at the bottom, we have two pictures of our metal sheets, which are pretty important because this is where we find all of our parts. The first thing I recommend doing is taking your two sheets of metal and orientating them to these two pictures. The main reason for this is just to make it easier for us to be able to find our parts. I also recommend taking a sharpie and coloring in the numbers of the parts that we take out as we go. Again, this just speeds up the process for us to be able to find our parts. And with that Groove Builders, we wrap up our instructions. If I missed anything or if you have a question about this build, make sure you leave a comment down below. I do my best to get back to everything I see, and if I don't get back to it, R2 will. Okay, maybe K9. Nevertheless, R2, let's move on to what is the U.S. Capitol building. Cue up the best picture we have. Ah, picture right from the start. Good choice, R2. The U.S. Capitol building has been a project that has truly evolved with the times just like the United States itself. Every bit of this building reflects America's past and current state, making it one of the most recognizable buildings in the world. To understand more about this building, we need to go right to the beginning when George Washington selected William Thornton's design for the U.S. Capitol building, making Dr. Thornton the lead architect. It was decided that the Capitol building would be built on top of Jenkins Hill, and on September 18, 1793, President George Washington, along with eight other Freemasons, laid the cornerstones of the Capitol building. Construction started with a man named Hallett working under the supervision of James Hoban, who was also working on building the president's house. Hallett didn't like Thornton's design, and despite the wishes of Jefferson and the president, he went ahead anyway and made modifications to Thornton's design for the east front, creating a square central court that projected from the center, with flanking wings which would house the legislative bodies. Hallett was dismissed by Secretary Jefferson on November 15, 1794, and George Hanfield was hired on October 15, 1795 as Superintendent of Construction, but redesigned three years later because of his dislike for Thornton's design and the quality of work completed thus far. Groovers, that's just a small taste of some of the early problems they had making this building. It was hard to get the materials to build and even harder to find quality workmen. After deciding to focus the work on the North Wing in the 1800s, everyone moved in! But the building was far from done, and even the rooms that they were moving into were partly finished. In 1826, the building was finally complete. But by 1850, we needed a bigger building. This is a trend that continues today and led to the building that we currently know as the US Capitol building. And just like in the 1800s, we need to expand again. So this building is gonna get a big upgrade. Groove Builders, we did it. We built the US Capitol building from Metal Earth. And this build was pretty easy to do even though I broke my first piece. Groovers, let's talk about it a little bit more in construction. My first point when it comes to building the U.S. Capitol building from Metal Earth is to take your time forming all the pieces, especially along the edge here. With all of its unique laser etching detail, it makes the metal a little bit weaker than what we're normally used to dealing with. And if you're not careful, you might break a piece. 
My second point is about the dome on the Capitol building. This is probably the most difficult part to shape in the entire model, and in my video, I used my doming set to help me achieve this shape right here. If you don't have a doming set at home, I would recommend using a marble or something similar in size to be able to help you get this shape. If you're using tweezers, make sure just to follow the seams the best you possibly can, leaving no gaps. At the very end, you should have a pretty good shaped dome. My third and final point on the Capitol building is making sure that you pre-bend all of your tabs on your parts before inserting them onto the main body here. There's a lot of really nice laser etching all the way around the Capitol building. And if you're not careful, when you're putting other parts together, you might actually scratch that detail off. And with that being said, Groove Builders, let's move on to build time. The US Capitol building from Metal Earth took me just over two and a half hours to build. And I feel like I could have taken a little bit more time to be able to make sure this model was done a little bit better. Yes, I am completely happy with how it turned out. But the fact that I broke apart over here tells me that I was rushing a little bit too fast. Groovers, at the end of the day, it's never a race to finish these models and the end product is 100% up to you and the amount of time you want to spend bending and detailing your model. And finally, Groove Builders, my thoughts. The United States Capitol building from Metal Earth is a great build for any new metal model builder out there. Not just because of all the 90 degree bends, but because of this dome on top. It's probably one of the best ones so far that I've seen in metal model building, and it's great for all those new beginners out there. Yes, it can be a little bit tricky to get a dome to line up properly, but if you take your time and use a tool like I did, my doming set, or even a marble at home, you can actually get a really nice look. Now, if you don't have a tool, just follow the seams all the way down and your dome should turn out pretty good. Now, I cannot believe that the first piece I've ever broken in metal models was on the US Capitol building, especially because we built so many other more complicated builds here on the show, and even some other models that had some really bad metal with them as well. But the main reason why I ended up breaking a piece on this model was because, well, I bent it the wrong way first and then tried to fix the shape. Normally, that's okay to do with Metal Earth models, but because this one has so much detail, so much laser etching detail on it, it made the metal a lot weaker than it is normally, meaning that I only really got one, maybe two bends out of it before it snapped. Now, if it got any worse than it did, I would have had to contact Metal Earth and they would have sent me a brand new part, which is an awesome customer service way to go because there's a lot of metal model companies out there that would just say, well, too bad, too sad, buy a new model. And because these guys can be a little expensive, this one being not so much, but being that the average metal model where I'm at is between 20 and $30, I mean, that's a lot of money just to throw away for one little part. So it's really cool that the guys over at Metal Earth are willing to replace these parts for you if they break. All right, Groove Builders, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the US Capitol building with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now I gotta make a place for the White House. Hmm.